Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to solve a differential equation dy dx minus y over x equal to e x times y squared. Before you do that, you must know what type of differential equation is this. Here is a solution of converting the Bernoulli equation into the linear equation. Recall that a Bernoulli equation is dy dx plus px times y equal to qx times y power n, where n is integer, not equal to 0 or 1, because if n equal to 0, you are getting a linear equation. If n equal to 1, you can use separation of variable to find out what is y. So here in this case, our n is equal to 2, as you can see from the question y squared, n is equal to 2. Now how do I convert this Bernoulli equation into linear equation? Okay, using the equation we have, now what we do both sides by y squared, then I get 1 over y squared dy dx minus 1 over x times 1 over y equal e power x. Okay, so we'll divide by both sides by y squared. Then the next thing is do a substitution z equal to 1 over y. So when you do that, what is dz dx now? Remember, so dz dx is equal to dz dy times dy dx. So this will give me, now z is 1 over y, or y power minus 1, dy dx. Now, if you differentiate y power minus 1, you are going to get y power minus 2 times minus 1. So you get minus y power minus 2 dy dx or minus 1 over y squared dy dx. Therefore, the equation we have 1 over y squared dy dx minus 1 over x times 1 over y equal e power x can be converted to first of all 1 over y square dy dx is negative of dz dx right from here is negative of dz dx is equal to 1 over y square dy dx so this is helpful for us because I have 1 over y squared dy dx on the first leg. d minus dz dx and 1 over y, remember, is z here All right, 1 over y is actually z therefore I can have z here equal e power x. Okay, so I have do the substitution 1 over y is z and 1 over y squared dy dz is minus dz dx and then I just remove the negative side by multiply by minus 1 I get dz dx plus 1 over x z equal to minus e power x. Now after I've done that, this is actually a linear equation now so I'm going to solve the linear equation linear equation dz dx plus 1 over xz equal to minus e power x here. Now, linear equation have this type of form. You know, compare to the linear equation. You compare the linear equation that you have dy dx plus px times y equal to qx. This is a type of linear equation. So in this case, the p is equal to 1 over x now. Plus find an integrating factor. So, based on the equation I have, dz dx plus 1 over xz equal to minus e power x here. Now, integrating factor, our notation is called mu here. This is equal to e power integration of px dx here, where the px in this case is 1 over x. 
integration of 1 over x sorry is ln x here and we can simplify using the simplifying so we know that e power ln fx is equal to f of x here so mu in this case the integrating factor is simplifying to x now after the integration you need not to put a plus c all right in this case now after you find the integrating factor what we do you multiply both sides okay so multiply both sides by integrating factor which is x here so our equation is dz dx plus 1 over xz equal to minus e power x so when I multiply both sides by x I get x dx dz dx plus z now plus equal to minus x e x so once we do that notice that left hand side can be combined into one single differentiation now combine the left hand side into a single differentiation how do I do that notice that you can combine them as by combining x and z together and differentiate so differentiate x times z multiply together this is the left hand side already so you can always check this by product rule right check by product rule show that the left hand side is actually this if you differentiate the left hand side it didn't get back the original x dz dx plus z then you know you have made a mistake in the computation of integrating factor so then how do I solve this equation so I know that if I differentiate x times z is equal to minus x e x then x times z must be integration of minus x e x dx so to do this we need to do integration by part how do I do integration by part here is working now so to do integration by part of minus x e x dx I'm going to write a column of minus x and a column of e power x here under a column of minus x I'm going to do differentiation under a column of e power x I'm going to do an integration all with respect to x here so differentiate minus x you get minus 1 differentiate minus 1 you get 0 and differentiate 0 you get 0 all the time integration of e power x is always e power x integration of e power x again e power x here and now you draw a downward one level downward diagonal and together with the sign start with plus sign and minus sign then this integral will be combining multiplying this all this term minus x times plus sign times e power x you get minus x e power x and combining the second term minus 1 times minus sign times e power x you get e power x here and this is the integration by part result so if we go back to the differential equation we have interested here is this one you have x times z is integration of minus x e x dx so after integration by part is minus x e x plus e x plus c so we know what is z now divide both sides by x you get minus e x plus e x over x plus c over x okay then what is z now so recall that z is equal to y so recall that the z is equal to 1 over y in the very beginning when we when we do the probability substitution so therefore I have 1 over y is equal to minus e x plus e x over x plus c over x so y eventually is equal to 1 over minus e x plus e x over x plus c over x that is the end of the recording.